Hello, Lisbon. We have some very special things here for you today. We don't usually do Q&As, but I'm pleased to let you know that today we're going to do a very special interactive session after today. There's a microphone in the center over there, and if you all get your questions ready, we'll have something very memorable to share with you very soon. My name is Eugene Chung, and I'm the founder and CEO of Penrose Studios. Penrose is a startup based in San Francisco, and we're dedicated to our mission of defining the next generation of human storytelling. We're a collection of artists, engineers, and storytellers, and we create and craft in these brand new mediums of augmented and virtual reality. To begin the story of Penrose's founding, I'm going to take you all all the way back to my childhood. I grew up in Virginia, in the United States, and when I was growing up, my mother was an accountant, and my father was an opera singer. And I realized something very interesting when I was growing up. I realized that the neighborhood kids who I would play with in the suburbs of Virginia when I was very young didn't really watch a whole lot of opera. They played video games, they watched movies, they watched television, but opera wasn't on the regular diet of media. But I found this a curious fact, and so I went back to the history books, and I realized that opera used to be this great major art form. 150 plus years ago, crowds thronged and gathered to great opera houses such as this one. And what they created and what they crafted was considered the pinnacle of visual art at the time. Opera had the best characters, they had the best stories, they had the best music. How could anything get beyond opera? was what people asked. And then, of course, a few scant decades after this moment, the first moving pictures were created, and that changed everything. If we look at the long view of history and think about that moment many forgotten eons ago, when the first person got up around a campfire to tell a story, cultural progression and technological disruption have fostered changes in the way we think about storytelling. I'm here to tell you today that we are on the verge of another sea change. Throughout all of this time, what we have tried to do is get the characters closer to us. We have created statues, we've created monuments, we've created art. And throughout all that time, the only thing that has changed is that our tools have gotten better. We have gotten better at creating visual spectacle. But what hasn't changed is our deep desire to connect with the characters and the stories that we love. Walt Disney recognized this. Back in 1957, he set about to draw the chart of his organization. And at the very beating center, heart, and core of his company, he put theatrical films and the stories that they produced. But when people love stories, they want to go back to those stories. And that's why he created Disneyland, where people could come back and revisit those worlds. Walt also realized the power of having intimate moments with characters you love in the privacy of your own home. And that's why he ensured that every kid in America had access to a Mickey Mouse doll if they wanted it. 
the last century has been an exciting time for visual spectacle. We've had so many advances in the creation of films. We've had synchronized sound, we've had Technicolor, and we've had 3D animation. But now we're on the dawn of a new age, and this is the age we're calling spatial storytelling. Spatial storytelling is going to merge the best that we have of brand new technologies mixed in with the age-old craft of storytelling. It's going to combine technologies such as artificial intelligence and virtual and augmented reality. These technologies will be leveraging data and space. But underlying all of that will be the backbone of human connection. Human connection is a foundational principle that we at Penner Studios believe will be necessary for us to embrace these new technologies in a way that is natural to us. That's why at Penrose, we've created stories like our first VR AR experience, The Rose and I, which tells that fragile moment when two people meet for the very first time. Or our next experience called Alamet, which is set in this city that floats in the clouds, inspired by Venice. A city that can be explored in all its many dimensions in real time. It's a perfect setting to tell the human story of Alamet and her mother, a story about love, loss, and sacrifice. Our latest piece is called Arden's Wake. It tells the story of a young woman searching for her independence. And we're going to give you a little preview into that world now. Hi. Hey, Arden. <laughs> oh, hey there, Eugene. I didn't see you there. What are you doing? Well, the sun and sea are about to kiss and I'll have to lock up soon. Uh, today is the day. Oh, it's been so long since I've met anyone new. What do I do? Well, be yourself. Don't be afraid to engage. Okay. And uh, why don't I help you out by asking a few questions that to warm you up. Um, let's see, Arden, where do you live? Well, I live here, at home on the endless sea. With who? Well, I used to live with my mom and dad. And where are they? Mm, I don't know. Why don't you tell me one of your favorite memories as a child? Hmm. One of my favorite memories. <gasps> well, when I was young, my dad first tried to teach me to read, and at first I hated it. I wanted to go outside and play or stay in and play games. The family fire burning at night, filling the sea air with fish and smoke, but as I grew up, the characters I read about in books, they started to fill my mind. How so? Staring out the window for hours on end, my mom and dad, they, they felt guilty for leaving me alone, but they shouldn't have, if only they knew. Growing up, I met Alice and Ahab and Romeo and Rapunzel, and I danced with Cinderella to her chimney songs, and I breathed in the same sky as Dumbo in his butterfly ears. <laughs> what if I told you you could swim with Cinderella 
or invite Dumbo to a video chat? Hmm. They're not real. Imagination is only the beginning of creation. Wow, who said that? Uh, George Bernard Shaw. <gasps> Do I get to meet George today? Uh, no, not today, uh, but you, I have the pleasure of introducing you to Lisbon. Oh, <laughs> wow, Lisbon, what a cool name. I hope he's nice. <laughs> uh, they're very nice, all of them. Uh, Lisbon, why don't we welcome Arden and give her a big round of applause. <laughs> so now we have some time for your questions. There's a microphone in the center aisle over there. Feel free to ask Arden anything that you would like. There is no question too big or too small. <laughs> Arden, tell us about where you live. Well, I mean, it's a lighthouse. There's not much to it. I have a bunch of books and pretty much just surrounded by water. Oh, I have a boat. That's pretty cool. I mostly just go fishing and, well, sometimes I fish out the window if I'm feeling lazy or fish on the dock or fish on the boat. I guess I mostly just fish. <laughs> hey, hi. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. Hi. Uh, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is, well, fish. <laughs> mostly cod. Wow, what a bright colored shirt. What is that, pink? I never find any clothes like that. How deep down did you have to dive to find that? Can you, can you show us outside? Mm, well, there's not much else other than what's out these windows. It's, it's an endless sea. It's water for as long as the eye can see. What about inside? Can you show us what's inside your cabin? Mm, I haven't cleaned up appropriately, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting so many guests. Hi. Do you prefer hip-hop or opera? Wow, I have heard opera, actually. I dive down and there's this cool place really far down. It's this room with tons of books and music and I found some opera, it's amazing but I don't know what hip hop is. Oh, they're here. Oh, I wish I could stay and talk longer, but I have to go. Lots of love, bye. So that was a small sneak peek into Arden's world. It's a glimpse into how technology can redefine the way we connect with characters. I'm grateful and honored to work with our incredible team at Penrose. There's much more on the horizon for us, and we can't wait to share, share what's coming next when the time is right. Lisbon, thank you for taking this special journey with us. It's been great. I hope you all have a good day.